Hey guys, TerraPup here, and this is my home lab. I've shown it to you guys a few times. Really need to go through and clean up the wiring, but what I wanted to show today is something that um, I'm pretty um, happy about. And it's a company I found on Amazon called UC Tronics, and they make these nice little rack uh, rack mount cases like you're seeing and it's pretty nice and what I'm excited about is the fact that I found something else and we're gonna go take a look at it but as you can hear this is kind of noisy in fact I kind of gave up on recording in here and I pretty much now have like my little recording desk. So let's go look at the other area and you'll see why I'm excited. All right, so this is where I do a lot of my recordings now. And as you can tell, it's a little bit quieter. And my desk is getting full. I really need to start moving a lot of this stuff off so that I can have this background. And, you know, I got this to protect the, the desk, but one of the things that's happening is, um, you know, I have dogs, and dog hair gets up here, and whatever, this little white stuff, and I'm constantly cleaning it. But, getting back to UC Tronics, this is not one of their applications, but I'm always looking for space. Well, this is what I found. So... Now, on my desk, I have a new area where I can do some, um, kind of have like a mini, mini rack area in here. I was setting up this area, and it's kind of got cluttered, but these are actually running. Okay, this is running COS OS on an Odroid M1. Back here is my NVIDIA Nano 2 gig. That right there is a Libra Renegade uh, 4 gigs. That is my Open Volt um, Media, actually Open Media Volt, okay, server. But I'm going to be retiring that since you guys saw for the uh, Eon. So I'm probably going to use this for something else. Any suggestions, uh, recommend it. And the lid's off right now because uh, the fan just doesn't sit on there and I want it to stay cool. And they don't make this case anymore. I get the standoffs. But anyway, you know, I have... There's my GitLab server. This is my Nagio server running on a Libra. Oh, that's a Pi 4. This is a, a Libra Lafrit. That's Himmendel, but Himmendel's gonna be retired because I have Casa OS and I can run Dashi. And I can also run Dashi on uh, Casma Web, so I really don't need that. So that's kinda, and that's a Raspberry Pi 3. This is a, a um, gigabit brick that is also a, has some backups up here, but this is primarily my kid's um, Minecraft server. I'm running, you know, Linux game servers on that. Um, this is a Odroid N2 that uh, it runs Twister OS, and I love it to death. And down here is my other uh, NVIDIA, you know, Nano Jet that's, <coughs> I do a lot of my Ansible stuff. So, as you guys see, I've been telling you guys I want a smaller little lab area, and this has been working. And, I, and now that I have stuff that I can run, I can retire things. But this, like I said, I was really impressed. So, Utronics. So, why am I impressed with this? First of all, it's a nice little cabinet that has a fan. 
I'm not a fan of the uh, RGB so I might look and see if I can um, this get a solid state color but air is blowing through I can put an SSD down here if I want for storage okay this is my banana pie M6 okay and I'm gonna be hooking up um, Ethernet to it but access to my to my droid or sorry to my small board computers are over here okay and I think you see Tronics we need to talk I love to do some more reviews of your products but you guys are missing the boat and why am I saying that you list these products on Amazon and you state that they're for raspberry that's not true what you need to do is list raspberry pi format as you can see okay down here this is my sweet potato pie okay and it's a Raspberry 3 format and reason I say that is if you look at the configuration it is the same format Oops, heard that I gotta secure this keep sitting the fan but anyway it fits in there perfect okay the uh, banana pie M6 is a you know it's a four four format okay so you guys really need to stop saying that it's for one or the other now what's also cool is I could take this out okay and I could swap it with that rack mount so they kind of made stuff that's kind of universal but let me show you what what I love about this so this is design okay that you can use it with anything and this is their extender card so that you can put your SD cards in here and you can plug this up into the board like this but as long as it's a Raspberry Pi format okay and why do I keep saying that word a lot of people they assume the minute they hear Raspberry Pi case, they, you know, those are true. But, like, if I need it to say, here, if I wanted to put my Indie Droid in there, you know, I would take off this bottom plate, right? I can mount it here, okay? I could put my SD card into that it into the case over here and it will work so you see tronics uh, I'd like to review some more of your stuff I know it sounds petty that I'm asking but I love this I wanted to show people this and why is this important so eventually okay I want to have this other lab set up that I can work with this is a nice little desktop lab so if you're like me and you do uh, development you could actually have a rack for your small board computers and again as long as it is pi format okay and here's a good here's a good example why I say that this is a radix rock 5 okay it is not pi format it will not fit into there okay so this is incompatible again the indie droid nova it would work the radix uh, rock 5a it would work okay many of the banana boards would work um, sorry about that trying to grab something else this is a stack of boards over here these are there's a a rock six or no these are all my Libra computers all these Libra computers would work in this and you you know you wouldn't need 
you know, these acrylic stackables like I was getting, you would have something that's a little bit neater and works out better. And like I said, this this is nice. So you see Tronics, this is their case. I'll put a link into the description. Okay. But um this is one of their desktops. And I do believe they sell one without the SD ones. I got this because uh, I like to uh, put uh, storage in there to see if I can work with it. Again, it has coolant in the back. Okay. It is running off the power of the board. So you don't have to have additional power. And then once I get all my cabling over here... Okay, I can neatly stack it up. If I really you know, want to do something, I probably could use two-sided uh, Gorilla tape on this side and put like a, a little you know, TP-Link 5-port hub over here and plug everything up to it or uh, and put like a little KVM and everything would be secure and I would have everything in one little area. But no, I just wanted to share this with you because this was a great solution for my desk so that I'm not filling up stuff like this. Okay? As much as I love this stuff over here, it's starting to interfere with my, my uh, productivity. So I'm going to try to get stuff moved into things like this. Who knows? Maybe uh, you see Tronic can make a uh, a case for these um, for the Orange Pi 5 and the Radix you know 5B because then you know we could have something in there okay the only question I and I'm gonna reach out to him is I'm not sure what these screws up here are for all right so just wanted to share this this is an awesome little project and I probably got my fan upside down because, as you see, the lettering in the back. But, uh, no, I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, home labbing can be like the big rack mount that I have in my, in my office. Or home labbing can be a small little lab, okay, where you just have select boards let's let's say if you were going to run a a pie cluster this would be great for that so anyway that's terra pup until the next video peace